Good evening, Meg's Daily Watchers. Hope you're doing good today. It is evening. It's getting dark out. I'm at Super 1. So vlog, short vlog number 3, it's going to be at Super 1. Look at those awesome carts I want to ride in one. But anyway... <laughs> I've never seen this before. Shrimp wrapped snap peas. This is why people don't eat healthy. It's too expensive. It's very sad, actually. Are red potatoes real? Or are they like manufactured to be red? Just wondering. I have no idea. So they have these prepackaged red potato things. And I really like like a hot dish that you bake and you have potatoes and carrots and whatever else in them. But I just don't know if red potatoes the kind you need or what. It's my first time using an actual weight thingy. That was fun. I liked it. Buying red potatoes. This is the kind of stuff I call my mom about. But right now it's rush hour down in the cities and she's driving home, AKA bad time to call. So I'm not calling her. So I wish you guys were like live. You could like tell me what it is. <laughs> like I know we put like potatoes and carrots and then there's like a, I don't know if it's a turnip or that other white thing that looks like a carrot that you cut up and put in there with it. But it's one of those two, I think. And it's really good. This thing, parsnip, par pars parsnip, parsnip, this. I don't know, I think it, I don't know. It's so hard, to, I don't know. If you've never seen an eggplant, here you go, eggplant. They're, if you don't know how to use one like I didn't, um, one really cool thing is if you cut it in like big slices this way, um, and then you bread it and bake it off, it's kind of good. Also, I like to cut it up into small pieces and put it in a stir fry with some noodles and other veggies. It's really good too. I think the eggplant has a really good flavor, um, so I like to put it in stir fry because it actually adds a lot of flavor to it. Look how amazing those carrots look right now. What the heck? So I already told you mom's coming home tonight. So we have, mom and I really like their meatballs here at the uh, Super One like deli thingy. And we also like their salmon spread. And that is actually really good. So I got some of that for us too. Walk away from the donuts, Megan. <laughs> Cake aisle's my favorite section. I have to say though that um, they just remodeled the Super One and so it's all nice and new, but I'm really disappointed in their bakery section. There's like almost nothing and they don't have the good muffins they used to. You know how you can get like muffins, anything, just like the donuts. They just don't have any of the good ones anymore. So I'm, I really don't like sausage, like at all, actually. But mom had these this last weekend and they were pretty good. Little sausage sticks, links or whatever. But they're maple flavored by Hormel Little Sizzlers. If you like sausage links, then you'll like those. We have to look for Zevia. That soda that's like zero everything. And um, well, the non-GMO is the best part. Part of me wishes they sold it in individual cans versus the six packs because, you know, I've tried some flavors but not all flavors, so I'm, I worry that I will buy a six pack and not like it. But then I'm also kinda like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. One of my favorite things growing up, you can ask my mom, it, I loved it all the time, was Chicken Kiev. I don't know what it is about the flavors, I seriously just love this stuff. And we always bought the kind that's frozen. You have to actually bake in the oven. I did see that they have kinds now that you can just microwave, but that, I don't know. Something about microwaving meat and then eating it worries me. So you always buy the frozen ones. They're like $1.88 a piece. It's not that bad. But um, yeah, that's always my favorite growing up. So I'm gonna buy a couple so we can have those. This is my favorite section. Chinese food. We like this brand a lot. So moving on to ice cream, the best part of the day. Um, never ever buy Stone Ridge. 
especially if you're buying cookies or cookie dough. Nathan and I ate the whole Stormer's cookie dough and there was a total of six pieces of cookie dough in it in that whole size. That's ridiculous. I was very upset and so was he. So I just would never buy Stone Ridge ever again. So moving on to Kemp's, that's probably what I usually get. So you can save a dollar by using the Shoppers Value brand, but I'm worried about that. So I'm just gonna spend full price. Taking a risk. I got the usual black raspberry swirl, but I couldn't remember a long while ago, mom and I had the flavor that we both really liked. It was weird. I think it was maple nut, I think. But we'll see, I guess. Alrighty then, I, I'm ready to go check out. It is, uh, I think, the end of short vlog number three. Hopefully it's number three, otherwise we're gonna title it number three, num number two, second number three, whatever. Thank you for watching Meg's Daily, as always, and I hope you are enjoying the short vlogs.